come on in, folks. Uh, thank you so much for sharing the live out. Uh, I really appreciate you so much. Uh, how are you doing? Hi, good morning. You're loved and lovable. Tell somebody as you enter into the room that you're loved and lovable. Come on into the room. We're going to do it a uh, good old evangelistic style, casual coach. Come on into the room and bless him this morning. I had to change my microphone so I could have the good street preacher. He's coming soon for that ass. Hallelujah. He's coming soon for that ass. Good morning, everybody. Yes, I see you, Brentley. I am loved and lovable, and so are you. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing the room. Please hit the, um, uh, I'm a micromanager, y'all. Can't you tell? <laughs> Thank you for uh, hitting all the spaces, Poppy Wata, that I didn't blow up. And thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, I'm going to go for about maybe four, uh, 14 to 20 minutes of a share, and then we're going to move over into our uh, lab space. Uh, I'm Dr. Flo, so it makes sense that I would do a lecture and a lab. And so this is the lecture part, and then the lab will be uh, coming up next uh, in our private core group. I am just so grateful this week. Things have been working out. Uh, today is TikTok payday. And so I'm so grateful for that. Okay, you're loved and lovable. You've always been loved and lovable. And you're always going to be loved and lovable. And no one can change your loved and lovable nature. That is... Uh, Dr. Flo's principle number one. Dr. Flo's number two principle is that you are imperfectly perfect, whole, and complete exactly as you are right now. Uh, with what you have in your hands, with uh, the tools you have. And the reason why I know that you are perfectly whole and complete and imperfectly perfect, whole, and complete exactly as you are uh, is because... You are you, loved and lovable. And the tools I'm talking about to make the world a better place for yourself and other people is the cell phone that, that you're watching me on. I coach so many people who go, I would love to manifest my dream. I would love to see my wishes fulfilled but I don't have everything. I, I don't have all the things yet. You know, I'll, I'll manifest my dream when I have more money. I'll manifest my dream when I have more time. Um, I'll manifest my dream when I get that new computer or when I get that new whatever. And um, I want you to know that this little square, or it's a rectangle actually, This and maybe in the future there'll be little squares, <laughs> but this rectangle right here, that you're watching me on this morning. And yes, and welcome back, loved and lovable crew to the morning boost. So glad to have you and the beautiful Soul Mod Squad in the room. Uh, this little rectangle that you're watching me on right now is the key that unlocks the door to your future. Uh, and anybody who is complaining about not having access to anything, myself included, um, is standing in their own way because you have every tool right now in your hand, literally, uh, to succeed. Do not be too timid and squeamish about your actions. All of life is an experiment. The more experiments you make, the better. What if they be a little coarse and you may get your coat soiled or torn? What if you do fail? and get fairly rolled in the dirt once or twice. Up again, you shall never be so afraid of a tumble. Ralph Waldo Emerson, do not be too timid and squeamish about your actions. All life is an experiment. The more experiments you make, the better. What if they be a little coarse and you may get your coat soiled or torn? What if you do fail and get fairly rolled in the dirt once or twice? Up again. You shall never be so afraid of a tumble. A 
I'm now reaching into my bag of tricks because there's some things I want to share with you today from my power quotes. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. I'll say it one more time to people. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in all of us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Did you know just showing up authentically as yourself is a freedom song for other people? Just showing up as you are. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to add anything. You don't have to say all the right things. You don't have to be perfect. There's nothing about that um, that matters. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. The other uh, line from this um, that I loved is that there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. Insecure people are going to feel insecure no matter what. I work in industries, uh, top levels of industries, and sometimes even at the tippity top of many industries, people are still insecure. Why? Because they don't know profoundly that they are loved and lovable. It's so annoying. When you got all of these beautiful people around you and super talented people and they don't know they're loved and lovable, so they start taking it out on you. Pretty people with behaviors. I'll read it one more time. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Uh, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. Your playing small does not serve the world. Would you believe that I, too, shrink my life down? Because they didn't like my post. They didn't comment today. They didn't come to my programs. I, 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 maybe I should get smaller. You know, if I had a dollar for every time people told me, oh, you just text so much. You just spam so much. You know, even this morning in the live stream, someone was like, I left your live chat because I was in three. I'm like, now you're a nun <laughs> because I'm not shrinking for y'all no more. I'm not shrinking for y'all. And you shouldn't shrink for me. Your playing small does not serve the, the world. It's already pinned. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. Let me tell something. Let me, I'm going to stop right here and, and talk to you uh, humble people. You people who are so obsessed with being humble and having other people be humble. Um, that is such a lie. Okay? I'm not even trying to be humble. Okay? I'll say it one more time. I'm not even trying to be humble. Uh, it was said the other day by a person who I love dearly. I, I just love that we're so humble. How is, that, how is that serving you? Who benefits from you being humble? Or are you being humble so that you're more pal palatable to people around you? Your family will try to keep you humble and put you in your place. I've been humbled on this block, okay? I don't believe in humble. Y'all can have humble. Y'all can have it. Take it. Take the humble. <laughs> Y'all can have all of that humble. Um, I don't see how it benefits my bank account, and I don't see the muggles caring about it. Y'all can have humble. I'll take everything else. Y'all can have humble, <laughs> okay? 
um, it is such a interesting thing because humility and recognizing a higher power. Sure, I'm humbled by the fact that I'm a little me in a universe that's been expanding for billions of years. Seeing myself as a small creature on a tiny pale dot in the cosmos is a very awe-inspiring and humbling thing. But I'm not going to be humbled for you motherfuckers. What have you done for me lately? So I want to empower everyone today to not get so caught up and humbled. And, and while I'm on the humble thing, I also want to talk about you people who want to move in silence. What, is that, what has that done for you lately? What, what has moving in silence actually done for you? People who uh, say, you know what? Don't let your friends and your family know what you're doing because then they could sabotage you. No, they're not sabotaging you. You're sabotaging you. Okay? There's no amount of humility or, or moving in silence is going to push your dream forward if you don't push the damn button, as Tara says. Um, but I'm really on one this morning about this humble thing because y'all really, really are obsessed with, with making sure that other people are humble and making sure you're humbled. And I'm like, Why? Anyway, there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We know, we know that they're insecure. And we know that they're not doing the work to become more secure. So why would I let them determine my path when they are miserable? Look at them! Look at them! <laughs> we are born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us. It's in everyone. Look at them! <laughs> once they show me a happy life, once they show me a loved and lovable life, once they show me full bank accounts, once they show me full joy, then I'll start listening to them. But look literally at them and their lives. You think I'm going to take advice from people who are laughing at me when I'm the nigga with the microphone? <laughs> I think not. It's not just in some of us. It's in everyone, this glory of God. And as we let our light shine, we are unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. And as we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Miriam Blimson. I'll read a few more of my power quotes this morning, but y'all got to stop playing small and thinking it's cute. You know, I've been in this town that I'm in right now, starting the tour for a year, playing really, really small. And, it, and you know who it served? Nobody. <laughs> I, I'm buying toilet paper and toothpaste today on TikTok tips. Okay? Uh-uh. I'm going to show out for love. I'm going to show out for love. I'm going to show out. You're going to watch me shine. You're going to watch me shine, bitch going to watch me shine. And I want y'all to catch that this morning in your spirit. Make them watch you shine. Especially the people who are not paying you any mind or paying you any money. Make them watch you shine. Make them uncomfortable with your brilliance. Make them uncomfortable. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, arabo koshebabo you already know. Someone pin uh, the casual coach. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. And yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me in the casual coach. Unafraid, baby. Unafraid. Happy donuts. Ice cream so good. Thank you. It's payday on TikTok anyway. It's payday on TikTok. Thank you so much. Ice cream so good. Uh, today is payday. I got to actually, I'm going to buy some toilet paper, some toothpaste, and... Uh, yeah.
I'm going to buy, what's on my list? Toilet paper, toothpaste, and uh, washing powder. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms about the horror of the shade. I don't have a maid yet. And let me, t- let me stop right here real folk. Thank you, KT, for joining my team as well. Um, or, or ice cream so good. Let me tell you all something. I've been rich and broke several times in my life. That's not a reflection. I thought it was a reflection on my character or, or a reflection of my work ethic or a reflection of something internal. And while that's partially true, me being rich and broke is just the ebb and flow of life. Okay? This thing called the pandemic uh, happened and wiped out like $20,000 of my savings. I went from having $20,000 in the bank to over, over the months of trying to survive without work, having nothing. It ain't about me. It's about riding the waves of your life. Let me get through this. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. Y'all help me finish this. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Goes right back to the point. Don't let these people tell you who you are. I am. I am. Reminds me of the folks here in this town. So I moved here about a year ago, only expected to stay here three weeks, and it's ballooned into a year uh, of very interesting circumstances. But a poppy water and I love to thrift um, when we have a little extra change around. We love to thrift. And so, um, which is funny because as a child, I used to cry about going to the thrift store because I thought thrift, I thought people who thrifted at the thrift store were broke asses. Now I love it. And we go into the store, and I say to the lady, oh, nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Flo. And she says to me, what's your real name? I'm not calling you that, this, this non-melanated um, in town. And I go, Dr. Flo is who I am. I said what I said to you. The point is, don't let these people tell you who you are, Okay. Same thing with the pronouns. If someone tells you what their pronouns are, say their pronouns. Y'all be so rude, not allowing people to be the master of their fates and the captain of their souls. I'm going to read it one more time because I preached a little through it today because it, it really moves me. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole. I'm going to calm down, Tara. I think whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. And yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. They'll try to punish you, child, for being loved and lovable. You go out in this world today and try to be loved and lovable, they'll try to punish you with the scroll. But I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. We read this one yesterday, and I'm going to read it one more time because it just moves me. So six minutes on the clock, y'all. we got to go. Um, And I got to do the chakras before we go because that's part of your alignment. Dr. Flo is going to love on you and give you all the tools for free to get yourself free. Somebody's going to come through here today and have their whole life changed for the better forever. There's somebody in the room right now who, because of my energy, 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 because of my energy, Dr. Flo's energy, Dre's energy, Andre's energy, because of my energy, they're going to leave this room and never be the same again. But not because I did anything special, but because they finally got it. There's nothing you can't do or be or have. And the only thing stopping you is you. 
I hate to break it to you folks, the mountain is you. The mountain is me. I'm the only one standing in my way from my opportunities. I got a cell phone. And some of y'all need to hear that today. You got a cell phone. Everybody on the planet doesn't have a cell phone. You got a cell phone. What you going to do with it? What you going to do with all that junk, all that junk inside that trunk? I'm going to get, 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 get you drunk. Get you drunk all, all my humps. My humps, my humps. My lucky lady lumps. Okay? Thank you, KT. What you going to do with all that junk? Like I said earlier, people walking around, if only I had an opportunity. I've been doing the same thing for three years with Tara um, and with Poppy Water and with Nadia and the whole community. What am I going to do? Where is the money going to come from? My cell phone. My smart device. The phone, I keep telling y'all, the phones are smart. It's us that have a problem. With our cell phones, we could feed everybody in our community with our cell phones. With our cell phones, we could feed the community. With our cell phones, we could clothe the community. With, with, the, with the cell phones, we could hold summits for world peace. Y'all want to watch people polish rocks. Let me just calm down. Where is Helen when you need her? It doesn't interest me what you do for a living. I want to know what you ache for and if you dare to dream of meeting your heart's longing. It doesn't interest me how old you are. I want to know if you will risk looking like a fool for love, for your dream, and for the adventure of being alive. It doesn't interest me what planets are squaring your moon. I want to know if you have touched the center of your own sorrow. If you've been opened up by life's betrayals or have become shriveled and closed from fear of further pain. I want to know if you can sit with my pain, mine or your own, without moving to hide it or fade it or fix it. I want to know if you can be with joy, mine or your own. If you can dance with wildness and let the ecstasy fill you to the tips of your fingers and toes without cautioning us, without cautioning us to be careful. You know those be careful people. Be careful, Dr. Flo. You don't want to offend somebody. You don't want to make them uncomfortable. You don't, you don't want to trigger their insecurity. I want to know if you can be with joy, mine or your own, if you can dance with wildness and let the ecstasy fill you to the tips of your fingers and toes without cautioning us to be careful, be realistic, remember the limitations of being human. It doesn't interest me if the story you are telling me is true. I want to know if you can disappoint another to be true to yourself. If you can bear the accusation of betrayal and not betray your own soul. If you can be faithless and therefore trustworthy. I want to know if you can see beauty even when it's not pretty every day. And if you can source your own life from its presence. I want to know if you can live with failure, yours and mine. And still stand at the edge of the lake and shout to the silver of the full moon, Yes, sir! Oh, yes, sir! It doesn't interest me to know where you live or how much money you have. I want to know if you can get up after a night of grief and despair. I only slept last night for four hours, y'all. I want to know if you can get up after a night of grief and despair, weary and bruised to the bone, and do what needs to be done to feed the children. Loved and lovable. It doesn't interest me who you know or how you came to be here. I want to know if you will stand in the center of the fire with me and not shrink back. It doesn't interest me where or what or with whom you've studied. I want to know what sustains you from the inside when all else fails away. I want to know if you can be alone with yourself. And if you truly like the company you keep in your empty moments. We all have empty moments. What's important that we love ourselves. 
Okay, last thing because I'm running behind, but I want to uh, help you align your chakras. Anybody, uh, put a one in the chat if you'd like to align your chakra for the day with me. You know we're in Heart Chakra Wednesday. Drop a one in the chat if you'd like to have your chakras aligned. Oh, yes, yes, yes. KT, yes, Tiffany. Tiffany, thank you for coming back. What does the MHFA mean? I've always wondered that about you. Tara says she wants the chakras aligned. Uh, KT wants the chakras aligned. Gigi's here. Hi, beautiful. Casual coach wants the chakras aligned. Someone's being naughty with me and they got uh, filtered out. Glory to the most high. Glory to the algorithm. These motherfuckers ain't stopping me. These motherfuckers ain't stopping me. These motherfuckers ain't stopping me. That's a mantra. These motherfuckers ain't stopping me. 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 That's a mantra. Anyway, the heart chakra, because we got to go. The heart chakra is all about wellness and love. Your ability to love and be loved is all what your hot chakra is all about. If you're wondering what we're talking about, chakras, uh, which people come into the lives every day and call crazy, but whatever, um, they have the lives they want to have. I stay on my side of the tennis court. I cannot be Venus and Serena at the same time. But we start on Sundays in our root chakra of I am, and then we move as a community Sunday through Saturday all the way up through our chakras into the crown. We do this every day at 10 o'clock in the morning, Eastern. I'm here every day, every day, every day. Your day's off? Yeah, day's off too. Because love doesn't take a day off. But your heart chakra that we're moving into, Kundalini style, is all about your wellness and love and to love and be loved. Uh, the color of the heart chakra for wisdom, money, luck, abundance, fertility, healing, manifestations, nature, and trust is green. So if you're out there today and you're wanting to, to really amp up your heart chakra uh, and you want to focus your intention on being loved and lovable, put some green on. A green t-shirt, green socks, uh, green bandana, whatever. Um, I'm not saying that the color green is going to like do anything woo woo to you I'm just saying that it allows you to focus on something good in your life wisdom, money, luck, abundance fertility, healing manifestation, nature, trust wear the color green look around, do an eye spy like the, the color, the trees are turning colors here on the east coast of the United States but there's still a little green left even if you don't wear it on your body, just focus look at the green and focus on your heart. Eat some kiwi. Have a lime. Have an apple. Some leafy greens. Just focus on the manifestation of this wellness in love. Affirm over yourself, I love. I'm going to open up the floor right now. Tell me, fill in the blank. I love. I love. What do you love? I love live streaming. I love sharing with 10,000 people every day my loved and lovable message. I love myself, says Tara. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You could change the whole world by loving yourself. You could change the whole world. And it doesn't matter if you change the whole world outside. You can change your whole internal world by loving yourself. I love me. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I love sharing my mission and message. Keep going, folks. I love myself so much that I'm able to love others. Come on, keep going, folks. You love Jesus? Sure. I love Jesus. What else do you love? <laughs> what else do you love? I wish we actually did what Jesus said. While we're here for a second, and Helen, please watch me in PR because people are, yeah, people are people. This right here is just the words of Jesus without the rest of the Bible. And if you focus on just what the master teacher said, it's magical. It's all the extra stuff that gets a little crazy. Um, but I always keep a copy of just the words of Jesus. Nothing else. Okay? 
Y'all can keep the rest. In fact, the rest of the books aren't even there. Okay? The book of Mary. Uh, there's so many books that are missing. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? But I always keep the teachings and words of Jesus, the master teacher. But I also believe in the Buddha and Krishna. Any path to healing is a path for me. But yeah, this is very hard to find, by the way. You have to buy this. You can get a Bible anywhere. They're everywhere. But I had to pay. Someone bought this for me and sent it to me. This is actually the words of the master teacher, Jesus. Nothing else. Get into it. I love period. I love without barriers. I love life even when it's not perfect. I love simplicity. I love my hair. I love my skin. I love love. I love my community. We love you too, Tara. I apologize in public for season uh, two. And I'm going to do that right now. Um, if you've been following along, um, this is season two of Dr. Flo. And um, we got to go. We got to go. And I was very, very confused about the energy we call Tara. And there is a 38 minute just <laughs> unloading that exists on the internet about that energy. Um, she always was here for the community. She always loved me as I am. She always supported my dreams. And because things were not moving fast enough, and energies were moving weirdly around me, I confused her love for something else. And I said very, very harsh, unfair, and below the belt things to my friend. If you know anything about love, you know that it can be very, very complicated and, and you can often hurt and abuse the ones who are closest to you because it feels safe to do so. And we all threw mud in that, in that phase of our lives. But she didn't deserve that. And I'm going to turn this into a podcast and be equally as, as, as bright about my bullshit. Because people need to see a motherfucker say I'm sorry. I love Tara. I love my community. I love those that support me. And I love healing. And I love speaking healing. The body part of the heart chakra is your chest center and your heart space. You can use rose quartz, green, avatarine, ronodite, rondonite, rhodonite. Emerald and green calcite um, in order to charge your prayers with the I love vibration. When you are imbalanced in your heart chakra, you'll be unable to love. You'll be unable to give. You'll be unable to seek passions. You'll be unable to receive love. You'll, be, you'll have to seek external gratification. A lot of my confusion and obsession with confusion about our loved and lovable Tara was I didn't even have a container to receive the love she was giving and that's the wild part about life some of us will blow up our entire relationship structure will blow up everything in our lives because we're unable to receive love unbalanced in our heart chakra but there's good news and Dr. Flo will never leave you without good news I'm not going to trauma dump on you I'm not going to cry I'm not going to you know do all of this and not leave you with something juicy the good news is that when you start to move into that I love mantra and that I love energy that y'all did so awesomely this morning when you start moving into the I love energy it'll become more loving You'll know that you're loved and lovable. You'll be peaceful and you'll be accepting. You'll be able to move into Ujama, cooperative economics, 
giving and receiving. You do, you do, you do. Um, flight attendants prepare for departure. Let's just give them thank you so much. It's, it's done. It is well with my soul. See, we sent someone packing forever and then here came loved and lovable Vestella. See, look at God. Look at higher power. We sent one person packing for good and then loved and lovable Vestella showed up. Hey, Vestella, how's your pound cake? Look at God. See how quick that happens? Someone will come in trying to upset your cabbages. My cabbages. <laughs> Someone will come in and try to upset your cabbage cart. And then God will give you a Vestella telling you to rise. Don't you worry about these haters. Ah! Don't you worry about these haters. Don't you worry about these people coming in here telling you to shush and all of these things because God will send you a Vestella. He'll send you, he'll send you 52 of them. And I've not said it today yet. Um, and y'all can join me in this if you'd like. Shout out to my haters. I haven't said that in a couple days, but shout out to my haters. I love to watch you watch me shine. We did it, Joe. Shout out to my haters. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany's with the shits. Hey, haters. Hey, haters. I know you love to watch me shine. You loved and lovable too. Hey, haters. Sexy, ain't it? Sexy, ain't it? Shout out to my haters. They are loved and lovable too. I'm running way behind in my schedule this morning. I'm not even sure if anybody's going to show up to the lab, but I needed to take my time this morning for the increasing of our hearts. There were some things that needed to be said this morning, and there were some people in the room this morning. Some of them knew that needed to encounter the energy of the presence and power called Dr. Flo, loved and lovable. They needed to see me take up space to give them permission to take up space. And that's where I'll land today. I wanna give you permission to take up space. I wanna set you free from the entanglements that are holding you back and holding you down. I want to come to your jail cell. Speaking of cell, <laughs> I want to come to your jail cell and say, I found the keys. Be free. Be free in your spirit and in truth. Be free. I speak a word of freedom this morning. Remember that death and life is in the power of your tongue. The things you say is what comes back to you multiplied. And I speak a word of freedom this morning. Freedom in our finances. Freedoms in our spirit. Freedom in our relationships. Freedom in our businesses. Freedom in our romance. Freedom in our community. As above, so below. As above, so below. As above, so below. On earth as it is in heaven, allegedly. But I can't do nothing about heaven on the other side because I'm here right now. And I'm speaking freedom right now. Now, everybody ain't going to be able to receive the word of freedom. Some people will leave this live and go right back to being in chains. Not a me, baby. Not a me. I'm a member of Team Better. And I'm getting better and better all the time. Oh, hallelujah. I'm a member of Team Better. And I'm getting better bet and better all the time. Anyone put that in the chat? Put that in the chat. I'm a member of Team Better. And I'm getting better and better all the time. Oh, take the time. It'll, it'll feel good in your thumbs. I, oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I am Team Better. 
I'm a member of Team Better, and I'm getting better and better all the time. Oh, yes. Yes, Tiffany, I see you. I see you. I'm a member of Team Better, and I'm getting better all the time. Oh, yes, KT. I'm a member of Team Better and getting better all the time. When you look back, I got, whoop. When I look back over the last year of my life, and I want to take, I, I got to go, y'all. I got to go. I'm an hour behind in my schedule, but I'm going to take time for spirit. When I look back over the last year of my life, I'm not the same person. I'm not the same person. I see you, uh, Gigi. God knows I can't say your name the proper way. Oh, so many letters and I love it. Uh, I'm a member of Team Better. And I'm getting better all the time. When I look back, take an inventory of your life, folks. Those of you loved and lovable children of the universe. When I look back over the last 365 days, I know I'm getting better. I'm crying about it this morning because I know I am better. There were things that, were, that came for me that would have taken me out in the past. And they can't touch your boy. Not anymore. There are things that would have left me poppy water in bed for days. You saw it with your own eyes. Not anymore. There are things that would have just taken me out. Oh, yes, Tara, you too. You came back better, stronger, more awesome. Getting better and better all the time. Hallelujah. 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 I don't care what y'all believe in. Hallelujah. 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 Better and better all the time. I'm not the same Dre I was a year ago. And I'm so grateful for that shit. I'm so grateful that I'm getting better and better all the time. My mental health is better. My physical health is better. My bank account is better. My community is better. My confidence is better. My confidence is better. I'm better. I'm a member of Team Better. And I'm getting better all the time. And there was a time in my life where I didn't think I could even get better. But now I'm surrounded by love. And I love myself. And I'm a member of Team Better. And I'm getting better and better all the time. Thank you, higher power. Thank you, higher power in me. Thank you for empowering me, heart. We're in the heart chakra today. Thank you to my heart for sticking with me. Even when my mind told me no, my heart said yes. Even when my mind told me no, even when my mind told me I could not, my heart said yes. My heart said yes. My heart said yes. And I'm so grateful for my loved and lovable heart. Love is my shepherd. I shall not want. Is there any core in the room that's moving with me over? I have exhausted the whole hour, but I had to get that off my chest. And it was a bit of a wandering, but I needed that for me. And I hope that it impacted you in a positive way today. I hope that you take the opportunity to become part of Team Better. 
and get better and better all the time. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is patient. Love is kind. I'm going to stay right here for a few seconds more, y'all. Love is patient. Love is kind. People probably come in these lives thinking I've lost it. And love is patient. And love is kind. Love is patient. Love is kind. Drop a one in the chat if you're moving over into the lab. I was only supposed to be here for about 30 minutes, but it got so good with Pastella. KT. Loved and lovable Tiffany. Loved and lovable Tara. Loved and lovable Gigi. Loved and lovable Brentley. Loved and lovable me. Loved and lovable 2.8 thousand. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free of all suffering. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free of all suffering today. Just for today. May you be happy, healthy, and free of all suffering. And may a bigger love hold you in its big, big, big hands. As above, so below. As above, so below. As above, so below. Thank you, higher power. Thank you, higher power in me. Amen, Ashe, and so it is. Ariga Ganushkatu. Abasusu. Marzabanuto. Under his eye, may the Lord open, blessed be the fruit. Hakuna Matata. Eureka. Shamalama Ding Dong. What you gonna do with all that junk, all that junk inside that trunk? I'm gonna get you drunk, get you drunk, 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 off my love. Have a wonderful day. You're loved and lovable. Thank you for being here.
I'll answer that while I'm here, and then we gotta run. Um, um, did anybody put a Did anybody put a one in the chat? Poppy water. I don't know. They did. Okay, great, great. Two people. Okay. So Tiffany, the lab is a private sharing session, um, cam optional uh, over on Facebook Messenger. After I leave here every day for the morning boost at 10 a.m. Eastern, I then just start a phone call in Facebook Messenger in the group chat. And we all sit there, cam on or cam off, and we talk about what's inspiring us for our day. Um, what our goals are as it relates to the theme. This week's theme is self-acceptance, which I didn't even talk about today. Um, and then we also uh, help each other remove the blockages from our lives. Um, and so if you're interested in joining that group, it's open to anybody. Um, and there's no cost for it. Um, it's just everything we give out in the world comes back to us multiplied. So um, if you just go to lovedandlovable.org, and then you tap the button uh, at the uh, bottom that says member programs. And then you go to morning boost core group. Or you can live chat us and we'll send you the link. Um, you'll be able to join the Facebook messenger group where we chat all day about our dreams and help each other along the path. Yeah. I'm a life coach and a vocal performance coach, business spiritual dream coach. But this is something that just feels good. The lab is every day, yes. And it's usually 30 minutes, 37 minutes before now, but I got on a roll today. Um, and uh, yeah, you all are, especially the people who didn't catch a flight today, Katie, you're you're more than welcome and invited. Uh, Fandela, who I think I saw sneak in. Uh, Vastella uh, and uh, Tiffany, you're more than welcome to to stop by. Uh, we've had people come from Tanzania and all over the planet. Um, some people speak up. Uh, some people uh, share only in the chat. Uh, some people don't share at all, but uh, it's a loved and lovable community. And I'm doing the work, y'all. I'm doing the work. It's not easy. Um, and we're here. Uh, Fandela, uh, we start here on um, uh that's one of my coaching clients. One second. Um, we start here uh, on TikTok at 10 a.m. Eastern unless I sang into the session. And then I'm supposed to be done by 10.30 Eastern, supposed to be whatever. And then um, from about 10.30 to 11 a.m. Eastern, we start up the room, encourage each other. And then most of the time we go into a co-working session. Um, but, you know, today is just a little off the rails. All right. And it looks like Tara and Brentley and, uh, and I will be sharing this morning. Um, so, uh, and thank you, Poppy Water, for adminning the project and running comms. We really appreciate you. And uh, any of you can live chat me right now on the whole team at lovedandlovable.org, lovedandlovable.org, lovedandlovable.org. If you would like to introduce yourself to me um, outside of the matrix, uh, you're more than welcome to do that as well. All right. Have a wonderful day, folks. We got to run. We are behind, but right on time in the spirit. Have a wonderful day.